Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I'm a Hatch educator and today we're going to get back to basics and I'm going to show you guys how to quickly and efficiently set up Hatch so you're ready to start. So this is an absolute beginner video just to get you comfy in working in Hatch. So the first thing I always do is open up my resequence tab and this is how I work because I like to see everything that is going on. On everything that I'm doing and placing on the screen. So let's just do DM, whoops, DME for digitizing made easy. And you see it shows up here and it's a letter. And if you were going to do a circle, it would also show up here, all the bits and pieces. So I find that very handy to do. Let's make that a little bit bigger so everyone can see it. Now, once you have something up here, this is the true view or 3D image of it. If you want to take that up, it's right there. And then you can see the stitches when you deselect it. You can see it a little bit better. You can zoom in. You can't quite see that amount of detail when you don't have it, uh, when you don't have the true view on. I work in both the true view and not true view. Both have its benefits. So the next thing I'm going to do is if you want to, you can set a hoop and uh, you know, I don't always use it, but if you need to see if it's going to fit in, if your design is going to fit in. Now, I thought this one was a little bit, you know, would fit in. So I pulled up my four by four hoop and it is not fit. So you can adjust it. Now I have it on auto centering. If see what it did, I moved it and the hoop moved too. If you don't like that, right click on the hoop and it's right here, hoop position, automatic centering, manual, and click OK. And then you can move it around. So the auto centering is super handy. Uh, sometimes it's annoying. So that's a quick fix for that one. Now the next thing you probably want to do is bring in an image. So I'm just going to quickly go over that. If you wanted to bring in design, uh, pre-digitized design, or a design that you started working on or anything like that. That's right there. The icons right there. We're going to bring in some artwork and we're going to click on it and we're going to bring in our just this doodle that I did that we used for a class. And here it is here. And if you wanted to work on that, you can. Once you select it, you can find out what size it is. And it's really quick. If you wanted to make this a little bit bigger, three by four, all you have to do is punch in the number, press enter, or you can move it around. You can click on it again. See the corners here are black. If you click on it again, they turn clear and then we can rotate it. I don't need to rotate this one, but you could. And it shows at the beginning. Now, one thing I like to do that uh, a lot of people, if you don't do it, you, you get frustrated. See how I'm moving the picture around? Now, when I'm digitizing and working on it, I can accidentally move that and it throws everything off. So what I like to do is lock the image down. So you can either press the shortcut of uh, K, just the letter K, or right click and lock. And you see a little lock appears there. Now, no matter what clicking I do, I can't move it. Um, if you like the grid, you can leave it on or off. I tend to use the grid for a lot of freehand work. I've shown you that in some classes. Um, if you want to set up the grid, you right click and there you go. You can set it up. I prefer the rulers and guides. Um, the, this is the ruler. And if you click on it, you can bring up extra lines and they're called guides. And it's really handy. If you are trying to, you know, center some, not center it, but trying to set up something where it's even and you want things to be lined up, that's all you do. And it shows with the little yellow thing. If you want to get rid of it, you just slide it into the center. So those are the basics, back to basics, getting started with Hatch Embroidery. And everything's easy here inside Hatch. So get started, get working. There's a lot of other videos. There's a lot of other things to do, but hopefully that helps everyone get started. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.